Hello beauties or welcome back. I hope that you are doing good. So we are going to do are you on their mind? We're going to look at you and your person's energy and see what's going on with you if they are thinking about you. Are you on their mind? Um, before I get going, I just want to thank you all for your love and support. Those of you that was on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Missed It Love Tarot, um, we had a send off for my granddad this week. So this is why there's a delay in me getting this reading back to you. Um, it was a beautiful ceremony, but it's kind of bittersweet. You know, he was he was 96 years old. Um, he lived through the first, uh, sorry, he lived through the Second World War. Um, he was at school at that. And then um, just as he was getting into time to be called up into, into to fighting, um, the war ended. He was born in 1926, I think. Um, he lived a really, really long life, met three of his great grandkids. Uh, well, we only have three, my brothers, my niece and my nephew, and then obviously little Hunter Moon. Um, so he got to meet all of them. Um, um, but you know spirit saying to me at the moment parting is such sweet sorrow and I'm pretty sure that was either Shakespeare or um, I'm not quite sure where the, the quote comes from but that's what they're saying parting is such sweet sorrow and that's kind of how I feel about it all um, it's been a tough week um, so I just wanted to thank you all for your love and support couldn't have asked for anything more really 96 years old meeting your great grandkids having a wondrous life um, it, it, it's remarkable so there is that but it's just been a, a you know what what words can you say other than it's, it's been one of them so thank you for your love and support and for bearing with me and getting the reading back to you so let's tune, tune up the frequency let me get out of that that energy and go into your energy so we're going to look at you and the person that you're thinking of and we're going to see if you are on their mind now what i actually quite like about this reading spirit really drew me to more caricature decks maybe it's to lighten the mood for me maybe it's because it's just you know um probably is to lighten the mood for me but we're going for the wizard of oz um tarot and we're also going for the disney villains tarot so these are your two decks and these are the two decks we are going to use um light in the mood so are you on their mind get number one get number two come join me guys so think about you think about your person and as you're thinking about your person can i vi ask you to visualize a pink color from your heart chakra going to the deck that you are most drawn to so how it works is we work on the mutual energy between you all and um, focusing on your chakras that pushes that energy into the deck and if you can't feel it or vi uh, sorry if you can't visualize it just feel it deck number one let's go are you on their mind let's have a look are you on your person's mind? So think about your person for me as we get into that mutual energy. That's lovely. Thank you. So are you on their mind? I'm going to take, I will take both of them. Are you on their mind? I haven't used this deck in ages. My best friend bought me these yeah, a few years back now. Um, they are a lovely, lovely deck. The only problem that I struggle with is the, the seeing what card it is. I mean, some of them you know off by heart. If you read tarot like this one, you know that's the Three of Swords. When it comes to reading the writing, I have to kind of, on the ones that I'm not quite sure about, use my eyesight. And my eyes are getting bad because I'm getting older. Um... <laughs> I think I need glasses now. I've reached 30, I'm 37 this year, and I think it's time that I submitted to getting some glasses for reading. <laughs> Are they on your mind? Are you on their mind, even? Are you on your person's mind? Three. And now you're like, why did you just show me the three of swords? Four. Let me just get one more for you guys. Five. Okay, straight off the bat, yes, you are on your person's mind. Actually, this one is staring at me oh, in the face as well. So we're going to bring him out, um, the lovers and the devil. Now, I actually really like that these two cards have jumped out together. So the devil is sitting on the top. This is this one. And we have the lovers card here. Now, these are like polar opposites of each other cards. Lovers is very much about the beautiful side of love, the romance, the... Um, uh, sorry the, the beautiful yeah beautiful side of love and the devil is more to kind of do with the passion the um addiction energy the sexual side of things all of that stuff that you can perhaps be chained to so you basically over here have the light and the shadow okay and the fact that they've jumped out together i really really like so when we're asking about your person and you being on their mind you have both the light side of the relationship you share and the shadow side so yes you are on their mind 
um, in both aspects, in both aspects. Um, so there's going to be a massive draw towards you. There's going to be a massive pull towards you that your person is thinking about you a lot. Um, and with the three of swords and five of pence over here that jumped out first, they are actually struggling with this situation at the moment. You guys might be as well. There might be a mirroring energy happening, but there is a heartache and a bit of a loneliness that is coming up with regard to this situation. So if you're waiting for contact, this is a sign that this will happen with the Knight of Pents coming up over here. You've got communication going to be stepping in. Your person is feeling sad about the situation. You are absolutely on their mind. They are feeling lonely and there is a missing energy. Now, if you guys have gone for a breakup, that's what this is over here, these two cards as well. So you've got the love side that they're focusing on and then perhaps the more toxic side of things, why things perhaps ended with you guys. So you are experiencing both sides of this and they are experiencing it as well. Now, I was talking to someone earlier, um, I was doing a reading earlier, and actually, um, this is a point that I want to bring to, to these cards over here. If you are going through a breakup, the more time that is given, you often replace these kind of heavier, darker energies with love-based energies. You, you give it a bit of time, and all those heavier memories that are the reason that you guys perhaps ended or fall out or whatever, they get put on the shelf, and the love takes over. And I just got this song, when love takes over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever sings that, I'm, I'm not quite sure who sang that, but that's coming through. So there is this sense of your person being quite lonely over the situation, missing you, missing the connection that you shared, and walking both sides of this. Okay, so yeah, they are, you are absolutely on their mind. Spirit is saying to me with these cards over here that they're worrying about how they, um, their actions have affected you. So if your person has been a bit of an a-hole or fill in the blank for the word you want to use, if they've been like that, um, there is this kind of regret that is coming from that as well. So they basically have to kind of, uh, as my granddad would say, stiff up a lip, you know, put their head up and, and get back in touch with you um, or, or just communicate with you and say, sorry, I was an asshole. Um, now, that can take a lot for some of your people because they're very stubborn. Uh, stiff up a lip, you know. That's exactly what I am hearing. Stiff up a lip and there's that movement towards you. The other cards over here that you got are the Ace of Swords and Queen of Cups. So this is talking about new beginnings happening with you and a romantic relationship with their feelings for you. So they're cutting through the bullshit, all this stuff from the past, all this heavy energy over here. They are cutting through that to focus on the energy of love. And when we're looking again at the very start with the lovers and the devil here, um, they are cutting through this devil energy to get the energy of love. They're putting the past behind them they're putting behind behind them all the stuff how their actions have been perceived by you how they've handled the situation um perhaps any kind of arguments or toxicity that you guys have had they're putting that behind them to focus on love and there is going to be that communication that comes through from them with their heart center facing forward so that is deck number one. Are you on their mind? Yes, absolutely. The light and the shadow, but the light is going to win. The love is going to win between you guys. If you're waiting for communication, this is your indicator that it's going to happen. Their emotions are there for you. They're feeling sad about the situation at the moment, feeling a little bit lonely, but there is a progression route over here with your person communicating with you, thinking of the heavy, so, sorry, the love is winning over the heavier energy, perhaps the past that has happened between you guys. Um, and also with this, let's just talk about sex quickly, just as a side note. Um, they are also thinking about the sex that you guys shared, or intimacy, if you want to be less crude. Intimacy that you guys shared. And that's step number one. So yeah, you are on their mind. I love it. Okay, I do love that deck. Right, let's go. Deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, uh, I just wanted to thank you all for the support that you've given me in the last week. And um, those of you that have been on Instagram, Facebook, um, you'll see that my granddad had his funeral this week. Um, so I just wanted to thank you all for that love and support and say, um, bearing with me. Thanks for bearing with me as well and getting this reading out to you. So think about your person as we go into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And let's have a look at are you, you lot, on their mind? Are you on their mind? This deck is a little bit boxed. Um, so when I say a boxed deck, it means that the cards are mixing both ways. It's probably because I shuffled it a bit weird when we first started off. Um, but this can sometimes symbolise how a relationship goes. It's kind of forward facing, backward facing. You're probably going feeling as if you're going three steps forward, two steps back over this connection. Um, a bit forward facing, a bit backward facing. Okay. 
are they are you on their mind and i'm getting this song from um practical magic you were always on my mind i know that isn't practical magic i want to say that was frank sinatra but i'm not very good um at the older songs i'm not very good at knowing who sang them are you on their mind so as these cards are jumping out what spirit is saying to me you've got the nine of swords jumping out and those of you that have got tarot and um no tarot and what they are saying to this is fear is a double-edged sword and with how the cards are kind of shuffled out often the cards will tell you a lot of stuff before we even start looking at the specific card meanings or as soon as spirits start talking this is a bit of a double-edged knife between you guys um it's like you are both uh, feeling the same energy you're both picking up on each other um it's a little bit bittersweet between you guys um and it's like you you're both in this kind of mind energy and fear is kind of winning with it a little bit which is the, the double-edged sword um i have heard that saying before but i've never been entirely sure what it means but that is what spirit are saying to you about it all are you on their mind you are always on So, with the song kind of coming up as well, you are always on my mind. There is a there is an energy here that they are thinking about you. So the nine of swords. Let, let's start off with spirit talking about double edged swords. We are in a mind energy over here. So the swords are always the air energy, and they are of the mind. They're in the thoughts. They're in the intellect. So yes, they are thinking about you, but they are coming a little bit from a place of fear. Now, why? Why are they coming from a place of fear? Is the question you want to ask. This is a spiritual connection. Ooh, this is a really deep spiritual connection. You might find that you twin flames, higher vibrational soulmates, something that has that higher frequency when it comes to love. So your person has never experienced these energy. They have never experienced these emotions and they don't really know what to do about it. The emotions are very intense. They're very passionate. You might find on this uh, situation that you're sometimes a hurricane tornado situation that you're meeting in the middle and it's causing these eruptions between you guys. Um, you have the, the more twin flame dynamic and I talk about the helix, how you wave in and out and in and out of each other's lives for some of you guys. And this is where that double edged sword is coming in. So they have never felt like this before. And that is scaring the living daylights out of them essentially so yeah they are thinking about you but they are just worrying a little bit about the situation because they're like well what is this what is going on i don't understand why am i suddenly feeling so strange and peculiar and this is where the emperor is coming in so your person is very strong they're very determined and the fact that these emotions have come in with this spiritual connection it has thrown them off kilt they used to be very strong and with you, there is a sense of vulnerability because they have not experienced anything like this before. They haven't felt these feelings. They haven't felt these emotions. Perhaps the drama, spirit saying drama to me. They haven't felt the drama of the connection. Again, the hurricane tornado. And I just got Eminem, love the way you lie. Um, what's really beautiful about that, actually, is when they gave that song, to me, I don't know if you ever watched a video with Eminem, but the girl's got a number on her hand at the very, very start of the reading, um, of the reading, of the video, and it says 555. Five, five. Now, 555 five, five really symbolises changes. So, with Spirit giving you that and showing me that specific scene with a hand and the 555, five, five, this is symbolising that the two of you are going to go through some great changes. The love, the way you like, the passionate, the fire, the beautiful energy that kind of comes with it, but there's also that sense of fear of you know heavy energy that that is with that as well but there is changes afoot spirit saying changes afoot um i'm just getting that quote as well they're giving me the quote from uh oh, winnie the pooh or christopher robin that says you are stronger or braver than you think or stronger than you feel or i don't know it specifically but that is the quote that's coming through my right ear which is higher guides okay so you've got this fear-based energy and your person standing strong the reason why they are acting the way they are is because there is that sense of vulnerability which comes with the nine of swords 
okay they have that fear there's also going to be a few sleepless nights if we were going to look at the direct literal card meaning of that so there is that again that fear-based energy a bit of a haunting energy remember when it comes to dreams that 98 percent of them come for our subconscious but we can have visitations in our dreams as well and when we have visitations and um, you will know it's a visitation because the person's lips are not moving and you'll also have very very, very covered covers you might have vivid covers on your bed sheets, but collars, vivid collars, um, and really feeling that sense of um, the energy between you and your person. So it's a really, really strong energy, but the lips won't be moving uh, when it's a visitation. That, that speaks for those of your family that have passed or friends that have passed as well. If they visit you in a dream, they won't have moving lips. It'll be done for a more tele telepathic basis. So that is the person your person that you're asking about that is their initial thoughts on this so you've got a lot of fear-based energy now as we kind of step into the future energy you've got chariot and three of ones both of these cards indicating movement of the situation and with spirit giving the kind of messages that changes are afoot and the 555 this is talking about a shift and a transformation in the connection with you so your person spirit is saying has to lay their weapons down they have to accept that certain level of vulnerability, which is going to be extremely hard for them. But once they've done that, you've got that movement coming forward from them. So working together to reach longer term goals. Perhaps you want to build a relationship. Um, perhaps you want to build a future plan, what you want to do with them, transform that energy, create that magic between you guys. And um, what I want to talk about here quickly is the three arms of this. Now, I don't know if any of you know that I am Druid and this is the symbol for Arwen. Um, kind of coming up in these cards, if we were going to flip it around a bit. And um, this is a symbol of creativity. The cauldron also speaks of creativity and manifesting. So you guys watching this can manifest this energy into the outcome that you want. And that's where you really need to focus your energy on in the coming months, focusing on what you want to achieve and bringing it towards you. If you want a manifesting plan, give me a shout. They are tailored just for you. OK, so I write each one individually with different techniques, depending on what the situation is doing. Um, so if you're interested, just give me a shout. All you've got to do is follow the tools, the techniques, and they have a really high success rate. Um, so do let me know. We can also sometimes do some magic on it if goddess say to me that's okay i am a, a a priestess for goddess and if they give me the heads up and say yay okay we can also do a little bit of magic on that so you can give me a shout for that too so align your energy keep your vibration positive and this fear energy can be shelved basically so are you on the mind yes but they are coming a little bit from a place of fear because it makes them feel vulnerable uh, can this situation move forward yes um we have to shelve these fears your person has to shelve these fears and once they've done that this can move forward for you guys so yeah you are on their mind chorus to dog chorus to dog to finish off all right guys i love you lots and again thanks for bearing with me the last week um i will speak to you super super soon and um, take care of yourselves ciao